D here with a review. It, this is an anonymous review because I I'm kind of try to be nice and I don't like to say I don't like things, but I'm going to tell you about the things I like and don't like. This has been sitting in my cabinet for a while, apparently. This is the Sand Your Ground Mask by Farmhouse Fresh. Okay, so I'm guessing those are the little sand crystals. I don't know if you can see that. Because I haven't used this for a while, but I did want to review it. I literally, I loved this mask when I first started to use it. And the reason is, it is a nicely exfoliating mask, okay? Um, I believe it does have actual sand in it. I'll have to look at the ingredients, but I don't have them right here. I have recommended this to several of my clients, maybe even many of my clients, because it is a really good exfoliating mask. So I almost, this would be so nice just even for the body because it has that kind of exfoliating power. This is a mask that would be really easy to overdo on the face. So you have to be careful with certain kinds of scrubs and stuff like that. Some people would even say to not use scrubs at all. I do like scrubs. I think there's a time and a place for scrubs. This one, however, is pretty aggressive. So if you were to use this, I would say to use, just use a little bit. You might even want to mix this with a, a cleanser just to kind of keep it diluted. But again, I really do like, I, I don't know if it's pumice. I don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up. Maybe some sort of a silica or, or um, I don't know. Anyway, it's it's a really, really good exfoliating mask, but this is one that you can overdo it with pretty easily. The good thing about this one is, is that there's not a lot of active ingredients, so it's not going to, it doesn't have like acids as far as I remember. It doesn't have acids or anything that's going to work with the kind of exfoliating granules to make the mask too, like way too aggressive. So really what you see kind of is what you get here. Um, I have recommended this, like I said, to, you know, plenty of clients, but there has been a problem with this mask with one of my clients and I would, I'm, I'm going to venture to guess that she's correct in her, um, in her evaluation of this mask. And that is this, this mask has stained her skin. This mask will stain some things, but it, she said it literally stained her skin. So she was kind of, she had a, an Oompa Loompa orange cast for a bit. Now, I don't know if it's food coloring, not food coloring, if it's colorant or if it is just the clay in the mask. I don't recall any clays ever actually staining the skin, but you know, it's, it's possible. But I do remember using this on client's face. It's not happening on my hand, but using this on my client's face, I do recall the color being a little bit difficult to get off entirely. And fortunately, when you're doing a facial, you have more than one step. So it's not just a mask and a moisturizer. You're probably going to do other steps as well. And so I would say this, I could recommend this mask with the understanding that A, you have to use it carefully, right? You, you don't want to go crazy with this. This is a highly exfoliating mask and then also like if you were to pick one of these up you know watch to see what your skin does with it does it does this stain your skin you know and um I, again I think this would be a great I wish they would make a mask like this for the body um but there's a problem too with the scrubbing granules whatever they are in this thing and that is that sometimes scrubbing granules in your products that don't um, dissolve in water will actually build up in your drain and that is a problem. So anyway, I do like this one. It's not for everybody. Um, you have to watch for the staining that's potentially, that could potentially be a problem, but overall a really nice scrubbing mask if that's something you're in the market for. So honest evaluation and there you go.